This is a brief tutorial about in situ stresses. Um, in situ stresses or the natural stresses in the ground um, due to gravitational forces and, and also due to tectonic forces and other things uh, are really an important part of any rock engineering problem. Um, a lot of times we spend uh, quite a bit of effort talking about the strength, um, you know, how strong our material is and, and that sort of thing. But uh, really it is the driving stresses that are usually uh, the most critical, um, although they're quite difficult to, to get to. So we're just going to start off with a very simple, um, simple question here. <clears throat> So you're going to build a crusher cabin for the mine uh, at a depth of 745 meters in a rock mass that has an average density of 2640 kilograms per cubic meter for all the overlying strata. You want to have a preliminary estimate of the in situ stresses at depth, 745 meters. It's a mountainous region, and based on a geological study, uh, you estimate the horizontal stresses will be approximately four times the vertical <clears throat> in the direction of mountain building. Uh, and perpendicular to that direction, you expect the horizontal stresses will be less, and they'll only be 1.5 times the vertical stress. So what are the preliminary estimated in situ stresses at depth. Well, the first thing I like to do is uh, to draw <clears throat> a little sketch of our problem. So we're talking about a sort of a mountainous region, right? <clears throat> so this won't be to scale or anything, um, but uh, just sort of give us some kind of idea. And we're saying that this is the uh, mountain building direction. I mean, this is a greatly simplified geological explanation, but it just shows that this is what's uh, driving the orogenic processes, <clears throat> these tectonic forces, and so the horizontal stresses are higher in this direction. And we're talking about looking at a depth of uh, 745 meters for our cavern. Okay, 745 meters. Okay, um, and we're interested in knowing what the stresses are. So what do we want to know? We want to know um, the maximum horizontal stress. And then I'll draw the stress into the page as a sort of angled uh, version. So this is meant to be into the page. So SH, so lower H is uh, the lesser, and capital H is the uh, maximum horizontal stress. And then we'll have the vertical stress, <clears throat> SV, okay, which is the lithostatic stress or really the weight of the overlying rock mass. All right, so we're going to use SV for vertical, SH for the maximum horizontal, and S small h for the minimum horizontal in situ stresses. We know that the depth is 745 meters. We know that the density, 2640 kilogram per meter cubed, average. Okay, and now <clears throat> we know that uh, in this direction, we got uh, SH is four times SV, and we call those uh, in situ stress ratios, okay? So we have uh, the, the stress ratio okay, uh, K, right? And we'll have two of them. We'll have one for the maximum and one for the minimum. And it's the ratio of the uh, horizontal stress to the vertical stress. Okay. 
All right, so uh, what else do we need to know? So, so, so we, uh, the KH, capital H in this case, is four. Okay, we know it's four times, right? And it acts in the direction of mountain building. And the minimum, KH, is 1.5. Okay. Uh, we can very quickly calculate the unit weight here right, which is the density times gravity, okay, and that gives us uh, 2640 times 9.8, and that gives us uh, approximately 25.9 kilonewton for per meter cubed. That is unit weight, right? And actually, you have to divide this by a thousand for the unit correction to get that. All right. So, uh, let's see here. So, let's calculate the vertical stress. Okay. So SV is equal to gamma Z, okay, is uh, 25.9 times 745 meters is equal to 19.3 MPA. Oh, and you also have to correct for the units, right? So we're going from kilonewtons um, to meganewtons, okay? So we're going to have to divide that again by 1,000, okay? To get 19.3 MPA is SP. Now, if we want to get the maximum horizontal stress, we want KH times SV equal to 4 times 19.3 is equal to it's equal to 77.1 MPA and the lesser horizontal component with the lesser stress ratio times the vertical stress is 1.5 times 19.3 is equal to 28.9 MPA. Okay, and then it's always a good idea to go back to our uh, figure and sort of draw them on there so we can understand exactly what kind of conditions we have. Okay, so the vertical stress is 19.3 MPA, the maximum horizontal 77.1 MPA, and the minimum is uh, 28.9 MPA, and this is acting into the page, and all of these are acting at the cavern depth of 745 meters.